Hey, my Love Island fans, guess what? We are back. Hey, we got through Love Island UK. We got through Love Island USA. And now, guess what's coming up? Love Island Australia. You know it's almost November, and it's that time of year where we have Love Island Australia. And guess what? We got a new set of casts for Season 5, which we're going to introduce you to. So you're going to meet them, and uh, let's see what else is going to be going on this season welcome back to romance review tv it's lady t i have a meet the cast video regarding love island australia season five so without any further ado let's go ahead and meet these new group of islanders so yes we are back once again with the love island australia and of course our hostess with the mostest sophie monk is back to facilitate all the festivities in spain and yeah look like with the season coming we got a brand new batch of singles that's going to be entering the spanish villa to couple up with other islanders to find true love season five is just weeks away and i mean it seemed like it's been pretty successful over the years at least for the drama but you know what we have 10 islanders right here and we're gonna break them all down so you can get to meet them so let's meet the girls Okay, we got to talk about this first Islander. Her name is Kira Schofield. And if you are a reality dating or marriage TV watcher, Kira might be familiar to some of you guys after appearing on Married at First Sight this year. Now, she was not one of the brides, but guess who was? Her sister. She was there to support her sister, Bronte, who was going through some tough times with her husband, Harrison. I know you guys remember that. And Kira made a memorable appearance so now she's looking forward to you know get her chance at love on television as part of love island australia after having three relationships she has been single for six months and is ready to have another go at finding love now her last relationship she says was full of passion and then it fizzled out and she would like to find that same passion again now speaking of her past romances she said she had three one was when she was 16 in high school, on and off. The second one was when she was 19, that ended terribly. And then, of course, she said Bronte, her sister, gave her some advice before she entered the villa. And she said, look, just be yourself and be strong and you will be fine. And what was a crazy year of reality TV for her family alone, it's now Kira's turn to step up and, I guess, enjoy the experience. And when asked about her experience on Mavs last year, she said it was intense because her and her sister Bronte are so supportive of each other and we fight for each other. So to see what she was going through was definitely full on. But she said that she felt like she take on her problems and that's what she does. When someone does her dirty, she's out for that person too. And when she was hearing what she was going through, she said it was tough and she had to stand up for her sister Bronte. So you know it's going to be crazy in that villa with Kira being there. Next up is Tyra Johannes. She's 23 and she's from the Sunshine Coast. And I guess since she's from the Sunshine Coast, she's a ray of sunshine herself. She lights up any room she's entering and that now includes the Love Island Villa. Now Tyra has had no luck with men so far, including be even ghosted by a former rugby league player. She wants to change that in the villa and she is genuinely looking for love. Now she describes her herself as an emotionally aware person she's a little goofy carefree fun super chill tyra knows what she's looking for in a man who is funny tall handsome confident loyal knows what he want and is already handy around the house she is of south african heritage and grew up in queensland at school tyra was popular and she was a school captain at some point so she's not shy of public speaking she would be a constant support system for the girls and the guys in the villa and according to her this opportunity has come at the right time and she's just gonna go for it in the villa have fun and do something that is unique and once in a lifetime experience. So we'll see what Tyra brings to the villa. 
Next up, let's meet Nakia Pyers. She's 21. She's a store worker from Adelaide. Now, she's from a farm outside Adelaide in rural South Australia, and she recently moved to the city. Now, she works in a clothing warehouse and is an animal lover, too. Her dog, Oakley, is the light of her life. Now, while many love a man who's muscled up in the gym, Nakia said that is an absolute turnoff for her. She's looking for just a down-to-earth, handsome guy. Now, she describes herself as brutally honest and won't be afraid to voice her opinions. Ooh. Now, part of the whole experience she's looking forward to is making some friends with the other girls in the villa. Now, girlfriend, remember, this is not Friendship Island. This is Love Island. But hey, why not grab a friend or two on the, you know, while you're in there? Now, after being in a two and a half year relationship that broke up last year, Nakia spent time working on herself and now believes that the time is right to seriously start dating again. She also goes on to say that she's had a few great months, but she's ready to put herself back out there and trying to find love again. Now, when asked what she's looking for in a man, she says she's looking for someone who is a massive animal lover like herself. Now, she also wants someone who's driven, funny, and can match her energy. She wants to find her best friend and fall in love. And, you know, he got to be tall too. Next up is Tia Gregory. She's 24 in real estate from Canberra. Now, this girl, super savvy, ambitious. As soon as she walks in the villa, Tia says she's going to be turning heads. She wants to go on the show to find real love and says that she is over the limited dating pool in the nation's capital. Tia has been single for the past five years and she's ready to find someone to settle down with. She wants a guy who's funny and genuine and likes to party every now and then. Now, in the past, she's been attracted to bad boys and tattoos, but she wants to change that in the villa now. Now, Tia has focused on her career in real estate the last few years and is an up and coming go getter. She loves to experience the finer things in life after working hard and recently bought herself a Mercedes Benz as a present and according to her this experience of going into the villa is so out of her comfort zone but she says she's ready to find love and have fun so now we have savannah badger she's 26 she's a law graduate also from canberra now she is an outgoing person who is a law graduate who can be mistaken for the Australian version of Legally Blonde. Now, she graduated from her six-year law degree last year with honors. Often with her pet, she's been seen with Chihuahua, Mr. Cheeto, by her side. Now she's having a gap year as she figure out whether she wants to become a junior lawyer. Now, in her past, she hasn't had much luck with men admitting to attracting toxic tan types with tattoos and she's hoping to break that habit in Spain. Now she's looking for a man who accepts her for who she is, one who she can have a laugh with and maybe even get a dance in or two. Now Savannah has zero filter, none, and she expects that that would be the same in the villa. So watch out. Ooh, this is going to be something else. Now she is the kind of girl everyone wants as their best friend according to her when they get to know her. In the past, she's been judged as a dumb blonde, but according to her, she's far from it, declaring that she's one of the smartest cookies in the room. Now, this blonde also loves to travel interstate to parties, and she's in the clubs. When asked what she usually goes for in a partner, she says she normally goes for feralish boys, the bad boys. They have to have a tan, and I like boys that are big, strong, and masculine. I don't mind a man that looks after himself either. She also goes on to say one of my ex-boyfriends used to get manicures and pedicures. And she says she don't mind that either. She wants them to be funny cute and have a sense of humor and not take things too seriously and now that we have met our first set of girls let's meet the boys our first handsome boy is nate page he's 24 he's a personal trainer from sydney 
He is a very busy guy with his clients, and especially when he's on Sydney's northern beaches. He was born in the United States. Now, he came to live in Australia when he was four. He has an American father and an Australian mom. He loves going back to the U.S. and did so many times before C-19 pandemic. A strong, very honest personality. Nate has morals and is looking for a girl who got the same. He's respectful, kind, and has a deep voice that would get the ladies in the villa talking. Now, he has played basketball all his life, but wouldn't mind meeting another athletic girl who loves sports too. He studied sports management at the university and had a stint at working at Fox Sports. According to him, he said that he was doubtful at the beginning if he should even go on the show, but he said that he's so glad he made the decision to commit. His motivation was to get out of his comfort zone for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. He's had three serious relationships that he's been hurt, and he doesn't want to get in that position again. And you know what? I hope that, you know, he was doubtful at the beginning of getting into the show. Hopefully, he don't regret it later. So now, let's meet Zach Nunns, who's 25 is a student from Melbourne, Victoria. He's also a former electrician and Zach is now studying media and communications and still working out what's next. Now that includes heading into the Love Island, Australia Villa, which he admits come at a perfect time for him. From New Zealand initially, Zach has traveled around the world. Now, if you wanted to describe him, the word would be boisterous. He has a huge personality that would be seen very early on in the show. Now, according to him, he said he's looking forward to having a summer of a lifetime, meeting new friends, hopefully a girlfriend. He is looking for that girl that is funny and hot, someone who can work with his fun and full-on personality. His last relationship relationship was with a Brazilian and he ended up moving to Brazil before returning to Australia. Yep, that relationship definitely fizzled out. Okay, so let's now say hello to Ben Richardson, who's 22. Now, he's a videographer and a content creator from Sydney. Now, in the villa, Ben is set to be the fashionista with his own trendy style. The boys are going to love borrowing his clothes for the famous parties at night, according to him. Now, born in Australia, Ben is Filipino descent and has lots of family back in the Philippines who he wants to make proud while being in the villa. He also went on to say he's very creative and it would be nice to find a girl to share that with. Now, Ben has been single since high school, but he is looking for a serious girlfriend and admits that he's husband material at 22, ready to settle down. Okay, now he will make the perfect OG Islander and is ready to have fun, find love, and step out of his comfort zone. The question is, will the girls actually swoon? So our next handsome boy is Ollie Lawson. He's 24. He's a mining electrician from Perth, Washington. Now, with bright white veneers, which he proudly displays, Ollie will enter the villa and the girls won't be able to take their eyes off of him. Charismatic, someone who takes care of himself, Ollie has been waiting to do a show like Love Island Australia for a while and hope it brings new opportunities. Now, Ollie grew up in England in a Mormon family before leaving the church to come to Australia. He said he loves living in Australia because of the beaches, the women, and the opportunity to make good money working as an electrician in Western Australia. Now, Ollie won't be afraid to speak his mind in that villa, which will win him some fans with some of the islanders, which we've already talked about, though others might not be so happy about it. He has strong opinions, live his life by being honest and direct, and that will be the same in that villa. Now, Ollie wants to bring some of his British banter to the show and have the time of his life while doing it and hoping for love. He is very single and ready to mingle. He generally has a type, according to him, Latinos. And he also says that he's ready to give it a quick crack, a real good one. And it's going to be hopefully a summer of love, according to him. 
And last but definitely not least is Trent Woolman. He is 25, a tower crane operator from Melbourne. He grew up near Horsham in Western Victoria, but he has called Melbourne his home for the past few years. He works with his cousins and his best friend and has the model of working hard and playing hard. Trent was also an Australian rules football player when he was a teenager before his back injury put a stop to that career. Now, he went to school with Phoebe Spiller, who went all the way last year on Love Island, Australia with her new partner, Mitch Elliott. He actually admitted that he has had a crush on Phoebe in the past, and they even hooked up before, but he's happy that she found love with Mitch. Now, before going on Love Island, Australia, Trent has had certain types, models, according to him. He has had some on and off situationships in the recent years, but says going into the villa is all about finding someone to settle down with. And he said that he can't wait to get in there and try to find real true love. A very popular guy with the outgoing personality, Trent will easily make friends with the girls and the guys. He's also straightforward, doesn't beat around the bush, which might ruffle some feathers in that villa. And you know what? This season, it seems like from the cast members that we just reviewed, there are several very direct, blunt, straightforward people in this villa. So it's going to make for some very interesting interactions in this villa. Okay, so there you have it. It's official. Love Island Australia is returning for season five. We got our brand new batch of hot young singles entering the villa looking for love. Of course, the episodes will start on Monday, October 30th on channel nine and nine now so yeah i'm looking forward to it we got a look at the new islanders set to enter the villa we're of course gonna have some drama and have some fun and hopefully our islanders end up finding some love and maybe winning some cash Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this Meet the Cast episode of Love Island Australia Season 5. Stay tuned for other recaps and updates on this channel. And until the next one, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.